just come back to the third slide. Uh, what for virtual translation? And if you pay him to pay, so pay him to him no. The source of the language word where it is present and the words translated by the most common meanings. Kojo words are translated literally. The main use of this method is either to understand the mechanism of short language or to construe a difficulty text as a pre translation process. <coughs> Two, literal translation is the Source language and grammatical constructions are converted to the nearest. It means target equivalents, but the lexical items are again translated out of context. As a preferred pre translation process, it includes uh, problems to be solved. The third one, first form translation, it attempts to uh, we produce the previous contextual of the original whereas the uh, strengths of the target grammatical structures. It turns for cultural words and precepts, the decrease of grammatical and lexical deviation from social language norms. It attempts to be uh, completely faithful to the internet. So the intentions and the text uh, illustrations of the source language writers. <coughs> the first one semantic translation is different from first one translation only in as far as it uh, must take more because of the antithesis errors of the source language text are uh, compromising. Our uh, own meanings were appropriate so that as no as was announced, word prints or repetition. Uh, just in the Finnish version, it does not rely on cultural equivalence and makes very small consensus to the relationship. Leadership, sorry. Uh, Five communicative translation, it attempts to readers the exact contextual meanings of the original in such a way that both language and content are readily acceptable and comprehensible to their readership. Um, six, idiom medical idiomatics or idiotic idiomatic translation. Um, is produces uh, the message of the original uh, but tends to distort uh, noses of meaning by preference colloquialism, colloquialisms in idioms where these do not exist in the original. So when free translation it produces the matter you know where without the manners or the content without the forms of the original using it it is her preference much longer than the original uh, the last one at addition this is the freest forms of the translation it is used mainly for praying for example comedies and poetry the themes correctors Props are uh, usually reserved the social language culture converted to the target culture in the text. Uh, you know, the written, the deplorable practice of having um, a praise or poem literally translated and then the written by an expert uh, dramatist who poet has produced many poor edit additions but other editions have to rescue uh, previous prayers. Okay, at the end of this uh, slide, uh, I want you to uh, read more about uh, uh, 
the theory of differential translation the first of all I kept you this one in order to make sure you understand uh, the translation is and how many uh, time how many uh, methods how many process okay so thank you for today see you again for the next video enjoy your reading enjoy your searching at home thank you bye bye